Day five, my teacher gave to me five flaming hands. So an exothermic reaction has to do with heat being produced. This one is called knock your socks off and I borrowed one of Santa socks. Let's see how this works here. I have a chemical called calcium carbide, which is in a solid form. And if I add some water to it, the reaction changes it into a gas, a flammable gas called acetylene. So let me put the water in, let's see what happens, ready? And wait a minute. I hear some gas being made, but let's see if we can knock Santa's socks off. <laughs> Exothermic, three, two, one. Hey, wait till Mr. Ramsey shows you some really heated decomposition. So in this cool exothermic reaction, what I've got inside the test tube is potassium chlorate. And through thermal decomposition, it's gonna turn into potassium chloride and chloric acid. And then I'm gonna sacrifice a gummy bear. And when I lower that gummy bear, the glucose molecule is going to oxidize and that little gummy bear is going to combust. Check it out in this incredible decomposition reaction. Here's my gummy bear in three, two, one. He's screaming but you can't hear him because his little lips are gummed shut. Oh, the poor gummy bear. Here he goes. He's still combusting. Check it out. Very exothermic in this cool gummy bear sacrifice. No live bears have heard in the making of this science demonstration. <laughs> in this next exothermic reaction, I'm gonna take a little bit of calcium carbide, I'm gonna add it to this beaker, and then I'm gonna pour ice cubes on it, and right away, you're gonna see a decomposition reaction where acetylene gas is released. We know acetylene gas is highly combustible. We want to find out what will win out, fire or ice. And as I add the ice cubes, you can start seeing a little bit of acetylene gas. I'm going to prime it with just a little bit of water. Right away, you can see that gas is starting to form. And I've got all my ice cubes ready. Let's find out what wins over, fire or ice. Check it out. The ice cubes look like they're on fire. I feel the side of the beaker and it's still cold because of the ice cubes. But if I feel the bottom of the beaker where the reaction is taking place, it's really hot because this is an exothermic reaction. Fire and ice. Check it out. I love this exothermic reaction with methane. All you need is to mix a little bit of methane in bubbles. We know that when methane decomposes with oxygen, it just releases water and carbon dioxide. Check out these bubbles in my hand. Look at that. And my hand is okay because all the heat convex upward away from my skin. Five flaming hands.